Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video one in our my winter botanical series, which is my uh, collage type design team project for January. Now, this says winter beauty, um, even though it's winter botanical is the name of the kit. And I really like this. Um, we're not going to use it for the front cover. We're going to use it for something else. I have kind of an idea in my head of what we're going to make but I'm still working on the prototype. So um, there's 12 uh, pages, pages, you know what I mean, horizontal pages in the kit. And we're just going to go quick. Oops, so quick I'm going by two pages. So if you're making a regular just fold it in half book, then this would be your front cover, and then this would be your inside cover. Okay, and then... Um, this is the one of the writing pages. This is another. See what I mean by quick? And another writing page. Pretty bird on this page. This is made to where it looks like a book around the edges. So if you're going to cut it, keep that in mind and try not to put two together that look like they're the same way. If you know what I mean, you don't want, um, say, this border on two together because then it doesn't look right for the opening and closing. You can also just take the border off and work with this, but then you're going to have a smaller book. Now, I measured this, um, and it's 8.5 by 11, so it looks to me, I printed this a while ago, um, and it looks to me like I printed it borderless, which means I probably lost a little bit of the brown all the way around. But since it was cut this way, I mean, or um, the graphics are this way, then I don't think it made that much difference to me, but I got extra. This is the William Morris style, and you get your bunny. And some more pages. Here's a collage writing page, what I call writing pages. So that's those. I need to print on the backs of these two. Print on back. I have to leave little notes to myself. Sometimes I'm doing three or four projects at one time. These pages have kind of curled up a little bit. I may have to set them under a book for a day. My fault, totally. Okay, so we've got these. I don't know if I said or not, but it's 10 pages. Then we have... Um, the um, portrait page, well, these are horizontal uh, full pages. Then we have some collage pages, which can be used either way, either this way or this way. The text goes this way, but um, it goes this way over here and uh, this way down here. So you can use it whatever way you want. Here's another collage page and a third collage page. You may use one of these as the cover for what we're doing. Then your backing papers. I told you this was going to be quick. These match your writing pages. Here's a nice one for the backs. And um, it looks like I need to print on the backs of these, too. One of these neutrals, one of the tan neutrals. Then there are 15 pages of ephemera. We're not going to go through them all, but there's pockets. I like these long vertical pockets. I love them. And tags. You love the bunny. 
Sorry about that in the background. I'm in another design team as well. And um, actually, that's a um, collaboration uh, chat. And it comes through on my computer even when I turn my phone volume down. Um, so there's envelopes and tags. And we may use this on the cover. I was going to fussy cut the one out of the other one and then print a double because we're going to need it. Now I don't have to. This is um, a large manila folder, and I like these by her as well. And some tickets and a ruler. Postcards. And I haven't printed on the backs of any of this yet either. And some cards. And some um, ephemera that you can cut out and put whatever you want in there. Um, it looks like these two are the same size. You you might can make a shaker card out of them, or you can just duplicate the page. That would be kind of fun. Um, or um, a specimen window if you doubled them up. Um, if you have um, some dried flowers or some pine needles or something. I have pine needles. I live in Seattle. I don't really have a lot of flower flowers where I live. Of course, there are flowers. Here's your words. And there's your fussy cuts. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to print on the backs. And um, I'm going to put those front two pages under a book. <laughs> I don't know what my deal is. And um, then I'll be ready to go, and we'll be back, and we'll get started. We're going to be using a manila folder. Um, okay, and it's going to be legal size. Oh, let me tell you that. So you, so you want to have a legal size manila folder. It's my prototype made out of a regular folder. Um, so I'm going to have to adapt that between now and the other half of video one. We're going to be using at least, I'm pretty sure, um, a brad closure on the front. So you'll need the brads and you'll need a little double circle out of manila folders. This is a one inch circle and we'll wait till we get a scrap to uh, put the paper on. And I've got a coin envelope. I've got two invitation sized envelopes and one business size craft envelope, which is actually a little long. So we'll have to trim it down. So that's what I've got for that. I'm not sure if we're going to use it all, but um, we're going to use some of it. And um, we're going to be using um, Gathered Twigs, which is one shade darker than Vintage Photo um, for our inking. And we're going to be using some brown elastic cord as well, because we're going to actually make a journal and stick it in the middle of this. Okay, and hopefully we can get this done in six days. So I will see you back in just a minute, and we will get started. Okay, I've got all the uh, papers cut out, and I've got all the ephemera cut out except for this because I had to reprint it. So I, I've got all this out. Now let me explain why this ephemera is so small. I um, reprinted out the fussy cut and all of the little labels with the words and the labels without the words um, at two per page so that they were smaller. And then um, we're going to have a journal and we'll talk about the journal cover and the journal when we get to it because I had to change the size on it as well. Um, just folding a piece of paper in half and, you know, sticking it in there just wasn't going to cut it. So this is what we've got. I've got a prototype, which looks like it's going to work really well. And if my uh, demonstration doesn't go well, then Proto will become the real O. <laughs> oh, bad joke number one. This is the stuff for the cover, so we don't need that right now. And I've got my notes because if you don't do this in the right order, it can really bind you up as far as um, cutting, gluing, inking folding. Yeah. And these are the two uh, cream colored folders. Now I ink them, or envelopes, I ink them a lot, but we're going to put the paper close up to the edge, but I wanted to make sure that the cream color didn't show. 
Here's the business sized um, craft envelope. Now I, as you can see, um, it's going to need to be cut down, but I went ahead and inked it anyway so that I didn't forget to do the sides. And then whenever we cut it off, then um, I will ink it again on that end. So it just depends on which way, you know, we put it. That's why I didn't cut it ahead of time because it just depends on what side we put it on as to what end we're going to cut off. Okay, so we've got those and they're all ready to go. We're not going to need them in this video, but I just wanted to get them ready. Okay, now this is what we're going to make and um, we're going to do more to it, but I just wanted to make sure the basic folds would work. Uh, and I might even throw a small gusset in over here. Oh, I can't. It won't matter. The binding part won't matter because we're going to take care of that. Okay, so what we've got is a trifold, and the folder's still folded in half, and it's a legal sized folder. So it's like 14 and a half inches long versus 12. So that gives us quite a bit of extra room. Um, and it makes this section a lot bigger, which is good. Okay, so what I did was I took my folder and I took my old paper cutter that I've now made into a scoreboard. Ooh, and I forgot to lock that down uh, temporarily to see if I like my big paper trimmer better. It cuts better. But uh, lining it up is, whoo, for me anyway. All right, so we want to line this up at five inches. It's not right. I think it's five and a quarter. Because it's just this side of here. Let me see, where did I measure it here? It's right on the edge of this. Oh, and you'll notice, well, you can't tell right now, but this part right here, is farther down on a legal folder than it is on a regular uh, file folder. Maybe they need to put more information in there. I'm not sure. Also, the Amazon generic legal folders don't have that big Amazon Basics logo on the inside, which doesn't... Oh, it would have mattered on this project. Okay, so let's... Um, so maybe that is five. I wrote it down as five. Yep, it's five. Weird. So we're gonna score it at five. I'm scoring it on both sides because it's a manila folder and they're fairly thick. Okay. Then we're going to score it at five and three eighths. That's going to give us a three eighths inch gusset. And that'll be for our journal. We're going to go over another five inches to five and three eighths, which would be ten and three eighths. You know, this is where we have the opportunity to make this a little bit wider. Hmm, because putting the journal in, I just really like this size. No, this is folded, scored farther over. Ten. 
10 and 7 eighths. That's why. Not 5 eighths, 7 eighths. That's another half inch difference. So score at 10 and 7 eighths. So we've scored at 5, 5 and 3 eighths, and then 10 and 7 eighths. This works really well as a scoreboard. It's a lot easier than trying to draw a straight line with your uh, bone folder. Okay. So that worked so far. Now, I didn't do this on the other one. I just kind of figured in my head what I wanted to do, which is always scary, very scary. So now we're not going to just leave it like this. Um, we're going to be inking. So... Um, I think I might, hmm, it's just so hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and fold it on the folds, on the score lines. So I'm gonna score, or fold that, darn it. You don't need to super duper bone folder it because it's easier to cut if the score line isn't so sharp that you, well, I don't know, maybe not. So we're going to make our gusset by folding on the two lines. Make sure your bottom stays straight. Keep your bottom straight. <laughs> okay. And then that gives us this, which the gusset is like a spine, which is right here. Okay, so now we're going to fold this part in on our score line. I'm just lightly doing that one. Then this is what I want to do so it's not just a trifle. Let's uh, make this into a pocket by, uh, well, my nails are so dirty from inking on other stuff. Whew, excuse me. Um, yeah, we're going to cut this to make it into a pocket. Then we're going to cut Yeah, then we're going to cut across here to make this fold. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So we're going to open it and turn it around. We're going to get our scissors out. We're going to cut along the score line. Just to the center. Which is fine because we're going to cut on the other side of the score line now too. Just barely on the other side. My hands are shaking. As if you couldn't see that on the camera where I couldn't get the uh, scissors to line up with the paper at all. This will keep it from binding up. Plus, um, it 
it'll make it easier for us to cut this other part. Fix this. Well, it's probably going to be easier to fix it once we cut this part open. So then we're going to lay it out like this. Now this is folded under. We haven't cut it for the pocket yet. It's just laying folded under. I'm going to open this this way. And we're going to cut along the factory fold to the gusset, but no farther than our gusset that we just put in. And that will get rid of that little goof as well. It should. And this is going to be a page that will fold and give us an extra page in our book. this little spot right here. There we go. All right, so what we have now is a big mess. Now, what we have now is this flips down. I never did fix that. This is going to be a pocket, so we're going to decide how big of a pocket we want. And then this is going to be an extra page here. And we're going to sew our journal in there. I think that's going to be good. Okay, now at this point, we want to open everything up and ink it. So I'm not going to make you watch me do that, but you're going to want to, since this is a page, you're going to, um, we're going to glue this here, but you're going to want to ink here. So you're going to want to ink here and here. So I would ink everywhere. Make sure to ink where you're going to have your pocket. If you're going to have your pocket on the side, ink there. Um, this is the point where if you want to see the difference right here, this area, if you want to paper this area, don't paper here because this is our page. Do you see what I mean? So just paper to here and up around if that's what you're going to do. I haven't decided. I, I, I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to ink it. Um, and then make a top pocket instead of a side pocket and uh, put something in there and then you won't notice, you know what I mean, the big, that big area. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to ink all that area and then you're going to, um, you know, we should cut this for the size so you, we can ink across the top of the pocket. Let's see, how tall do we want to make it? I think at least four inches. We can put something on the front here. We can put a three inch something on there. What if we want four and a half? We can make it a super deep pocket. Let's make it four and a quarter. Let's split the difference in my brain. The difference in my brain. My brain is different, that's for sure. And then keep this piece. So then you're going to ink the top of the pocket and all around as well. And we're not going to glue the pocket. What is that? We're not going to glue the pocket until we um, get to it. 
because we want to paper down behind it. That's better. What was that? I don't know. It wasn't straight. That's for sure. Whatever it was. Okay. So I'm going to put you on pause and then we are uh, going to come back and everybody's going to be all inked up, right? Right. Okay. So here we are all inked up and um, I decided to go ahead and ink the gusset um, because I accidentally got some ink on the gusset. So I figured, okay, I'll just go ahead and ink it. Now, I also decided that this pocket would look better here and then also it would, I'm bleeding from somewhere else. I'm telling you, my hands, they're just losing it because that way we've got this on the inside and it'll take some of the bulk away from the inside with the page and everything and the book. I'm going to have the journal here. It's not a book and it's not a big journal, but it, it, it's a journal. Um, so let's go ahead and look at my notes and see what I do next. Yeah, you can paper the tab area if you want to. Um, I'm not going to. And then we're going to do the front cover because we need to put the closure on before we glue this shut. Okay, so I cut the paper for the cover. There's all the little fixins. And I've inked it. This is from the collage page. I like that. Okay. So we'll glue that on. funny they're all printed on the back. I really didn't know which ones I'd be using for writing cards and didn't want to accidentally cut something up and then look at it and go, oh look, the back is white. Because this particular journal I'm not gonna we're not gonna do white. We're gonna do some sort of a tan or brown. So let's put this on here and I cut it so that there would be a border. Around the edges. Okay, now that we have that on and I ink this spine on the outside too to match the inside. Now that we've got that on, we need to put our closure on. I went ahead and um, after I had cut and glued the circles, I think I want to ink it under here too. Um, I went ahead and took a piece of the a scrap from the collage paper that I cut off of here and um, made the closure and it's the same berries as right on here. So that's kind of nice. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out where we want the closure on here. Um, I'm thinking, thinking halfway would be fine. Um, it would be kind of neat to have it up here. But then we've got the book and everything. We better put it in the center. So let's figure out where our center is. Four and a quarter. Okay, 
and then we want to go in a little bit. Let's see. So it's going to be equal with this line of the music. And then you've got the width of the button. And then you want about the center. So let's put it right about here. I just dropped my magnets. Hold on. They're top heavy because I like this box better, but then I ordered some new ones, so look how many I have. Should probably take the broken pieces out. Ah, much better. Okay. A little side entertainment. I'm going to use the smaller hole. And we want to put a hole in the center of this. Let's see. Close enough for government work, as my mom used to say. Well, for goodness sake. Having all kinds of equipment trouble sitting behind me. Okay. So now we're going to get our brad. I'm using gold for this. If I had brass, I might would have used that. So we're just going to put this on here. We're doing really good on time. So I'm just going to open it up inside what's going to be our pocket. Then I'm going to take a piece of tape and put it over it. Except they just broke my 30-year-old tape dispenser. Told you I'm having all kinds of mechanical malfunctions. <laughs> I thought for a minute there after 30 years it had given up the ghost right in the middle of a video. So this keeps it from catching when we put our papers in and out. Okay, so now we've got our closure. We'll put the string on it later. And then um, we're gonna have to we're gonna do our gluing now. So now we want this to be a hmm I wanted it to be a top pocket I still do so we're going to glue it along here and then we're going to glue along our gusset so we'll open it up I didn't ink it all the way down because it didn't matter and we will put glue all in here We want to hold it together. And then we want to put glue along the side here. And I know I glued or inked it here, but um, even though I'm gluing it together, but you'll still see the edge head on so crash bang oh why did I glue that all the way up to there I have extra glue on here and a, 
and a dog here. <laughs> Haas isn't barking, but he's here in spirit, huh? Okay, so now we have um, this page, this page, this page, this pocket, and the back. And we're going to put a, um expanding pocket on there. And, uh, yeah, so let me check our time and I'm going to put you on hold and then we'll see what we're going to do next if we have enough time or if we're just going to stop here. Hmm, that puts the pocket where you can see it from the cover. Not sure I like that. Yeah, we're going to leave it on the inside. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold one more time. I may just come back and say goodbye till the next video, but I want to check the time and then check and see if, you know, one of the next things we're going to do if we'll have enough time. If I shut up long enough. Okay, we're at 40, 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for this video. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.